to everyone that comes to this channel, who's been here for a while, the contributors, the commenters, the people that share, the people that share their lives with me. I mean, I'm, I'm getting to know so many people. I keep, yeah, people say blah, blah, blah. No, it means so much to me, guys, connecting with you because I don't want to just show videos. I want to explain and connect with you so we'll be able to understand together what's going on. What is this? This is a daytime moonshot, guys. Okay, like right in the afternoon and different times of the surface of the moon. It's absolutely incredible because each hour the colors change on the surface of the moon. Of course, due to atmospheric disturbance to the, the in consideration to where the sun is. This is amazing. Oh, wow. This is the moon. People are like, oh, it's flaring. What the hell are you doing? Look over top of it. You see a beautiful from the constellation of Taurus. A couple months ago, this was uh, the Orionids too. All the meteor showers. I was able to get only two shots of these showers. But look how beautiful the star is. This is uh, this, not the star, sorry, the moon. Yeah, it looks like a star. But you know, we don't see all these emanating light beams that are coming off the moon, etc. You know, just like the sun that we don't see ultraviolet rays and all these things. So. Guys, enjoy the photos of the moon. There's not that many. I, I put a couple on because somebody did ask me to put some up. And it's a pleasure for me to interact with you guys. And I want to, you know, I want to show you guys what you guys want to see, obviously. Top right is the moon. See on the top center Andromeda, the triangulum right underneath Aries. These are the constellations, Cassiopeia, uh, Perseus, Camilla Parla, Dallas, Taurus, Auriga, and Lynx. It just keeps going, gets better and better. You know what? why I did this? I did this so that you know what's around the moon when we find these objects. It's gonna help us to know and guide us uh, to where to look. This is a definitely a UFO. It was the emanating light that I posted the other day, the sphere, the beautiful sphere. Why am I showing different types of photos of the moon? Well. Somebody told me uh, to show some high dy dynamic range. I'm always talking about it. This is a shot in high dynamic range. You know, 100 ISO, if you can do it, take it completely off. When you're doing stars, depending on the atmosphere, of course, 3,500 is where I stick around. You know, these are some questions that people are asking me. I'm trying to answer a bunch of questions at the same time. Thanks for asking, guys. For those just arriving, thanks for subscribing. Um, the new telescope, a 14-inch Celestron telescope, very expensive, 10,000 U.S. dollars. It's, we're up to 13,000 with the options I put on, waiting for the adapter. It's on its way. Hey, guys. Some elements do not react the same way in space. You know, uh, on the moon, fires, uh, storms, dust storms, which I've never seen before, would not react the same way as they react here on Earth. So when we see asteroids and we see certain... Uh, electrical lights around them and uh, colors and gas what look like gases we don't necessarily know what's going on because the elements in space don't react exactly the same as they do here on earth another object craft this is in 3d imaging this is a craft it looks like a square uh, geometrical shape with four other squares that were actually side by side but there's a sort of glowing light between uh, the entire um, object you look at it here here's with filtering to try again to see inside a shape or something I think I see two objects spiraling or something around this square what wow all these objects that we're seeing you know this is beautiful of course and uh, second of all well beside the Sun look what's pulled from the Sun my friends this is how close it was to the Sun and you know it was so close to the coronal mass ejection, the big one that, that happened on the sun. Here it is, again, in color. A natural straight up shot, guys, just enhanced. This is real um, color, um, not added color, just enhanced. This is the real thing. This beautiful, gigantic object, cookie shaped uh, object, most likely, flat sliver again, looks like it's. I don't know it's so close to the Sun that it's not seen because it's blinding right but it's just astonishing to be able to see that um, that close 
this is the surface. We can see that there are objects lodged or on the surface of this uh, celestial objects. Guys, could this be uh, asteroid collisions? Could a planet or star nearby have been hit with massive asteroids? I'm trying to analyze these photos and trying to see them up close why beautiful spots and or cooling spots or warmer spots are on these objects like science is doing along with the information that's out there and trying to share it with you. Look at that, seeing rocks cooling at the back north side of this beautiful object by the sun. So if this came out of the sun, doesn't mean it did, but you know, the coronal mass ejection was huge and it was uh, physical matter. Like, where did this go? What became of these objects that came out of the sun, uh, the masses that we see? Uh, uh, how do the elements interact? Oh my goodness, it would be so ama amazing having a quick imaging camera to see the photons being thrown trillions of miles per second through space and whoa, just absolutely incredible. The way we're looking at it now is that the image, the pixels are compressed in them. The image is seen and shown further away and I'm showing the further clearer compressed image with a lens. Thus permitting us, you, to see the surface in a clearer way this way. Now this object was seen over Aldebaran. Well, I caught it over Aldebaran. Now guys, this looks like one object that was smashed in half. We can literally see it when you look at it. It does look like one half of a planet, a half moon on one side, or, you know, because it looks too dense to be a nebulae. You can see the surface of it, that's concluded. So we know that it is thick, dense gas. But like I said at the beginning, elements in space react differently. And even scientists themselves are not sure at times. But, you know, we can't always depend on the colors to know exactly what's going on. But nonetheless, it is beautiful and it's raw. We get to see what's out there. Just a beautiful shot of it. You can see the mountainous layering, you know, it, it's a real part of a celestial object that was smashed, you know? It helps, it guides us, tell us when they're not, when they're perfectly round, we know they're not maybe asteroids because there are no dents in them if you want. This is the moon. I love showing these because people get so mad. It's lights, guys. Natural lights that the moon makes. It's, you know, wavelengths. We can't see wavelengths in certain wavelengths in space. Look at the beautiful meteor shower I caught. One snapshot, one moment in time caught. The celestial objects that you're seeing here, there are two. Over top, one over top, or two over top, and one underneath the moon. It's also causing the moon to flare. There's the atmospheric disturbance um, also here. And what happens is that the moon's even brighter, and we can't see the celestial objects that are beside them, and we just have right now.
thanks to all those contributors, beautiful people that I'm interacting with. It's not just contributors, it's all community members, every single one of them, I think. Uh, yeah, I don't think, I know they are. Um, all the way here, the newest ones from Nick, down to the newest one, Mr. Steven Schliebecker. Thank you very much for stopping by, interacting with us, the community. The entire community and I welcome you. There's a 14-inch telescope on its way. Thanks for the contribution. It's going towards the observatory. Now, just quickly, guys, WSO YouTube channel, Mr. Steve Olson, um, is very, very busy. And something's up. Um, something unfortunate happened that we don't know. It doesn't matter. Let's just be there to support him. Stop by and give him some love and support. The ch his channel has to keep going, guys, okay? It's hard to get these channels going. Just please keep supporting him. Stop by once in a while to see how the channel's going.